Normally, I would just say no to a ridiculous amount of gems for one level of one piece of hero equipment, but today, we make an exception. From the P.E.K.K.A. to the pitch, from the golem to the goalie, welcome and welcome back fellow fans of Clash of Clans. It is your host, Galadon, and Clash with Halland has begun. The monthly event running concurrently with all of those challenges, and today we are going to gem to max the brand new epic equipment, the Barbarian Football. And in the spirit of honesty and full disclosure, today's video will make nowhere near the amount spent to max out said piece of hero equipment, so any help from you subscribing to the channel, turning on notifications, leaving a like, leaving a comment, or maybe even using creator code Galadon just this once will go a long way in helping the channel continue these type of senseless acts. Also, be sure to stick around for the end of today's episode where we do put the spiky ball to use in Legend League. So let's buy it. There we go. 3,100 golden boots. Level one spiky ball unlocked. So the brand new piece of Barbarian Epic Hero Equipment. It is his second epic piece. And well, I don't even know actually if it's that great, that strong, but it sure is cool. And we have all of the sceneries and skins and challenges and everything else going on this month. So we might as well get into the spirit and upgrade our spiky ball. Barbarian football, right? Come on, let's, let's call it what it is. So we are going to see how far we can get right away. And then, well, we go down the road of gemming to max because as you may have remembered from my earlier videos discussing the 27 levels to a piece of epic hero equipment, it is a ridiculous amount of ore that's required. In fact, if you were just to gem it straight, I believe it was somewhere around four or five hundred dollars. If you just do the straight conversion or for gems, we are going to be a little bit more reasonable because we have packages, we have raid medals, we have different deals and shops all over the place. We are even going to pop over to store.supercell.com and pick up a bargain over there and then some free goodies as well. So we got it to level 17 and then we had to head back to the special offers. Never enough is uh, so aptly titled, right? Yeah, it, it pretty much is never enough. In fact, we end up spending 60 bucks alone on 18,000 golden boots. So yeah, we kind of have a lot of golden boots, but they are going to go away very quickly. But the good news is there are lots of other cool things that we can pick up along the way, like the Football Queen skin, like the new decos, and of course the temporary troop and the temporary spell, the yellow card. Okay, we burned through about 10,000 golden boots right there, and that should get us, well, let's see, we're at 17, and man, the starry ore, it's just, yeah, it, it, it gets expensive up here, especially past 20, 100 starry ore alone, but it's actually the glowy ore that we run out of first, so we head on back over to the Clash with Halland events and we're gonna go ahead and gem it to max might as well right it's gonna happen eventually anyway so we can pick up the ore the golden boots over there of course you've got the decos the temporary stuff yeah okay so that's all coming on into the collection here and then of course the gems in the weekly deals the clash with Halland. we got the skin and okay we have to pick up the decos. There's no really no choice. And then all of the rest of the shiny ore. So now we've cleared out the trader. There's nothing else left to purchase there either. And that's the, the sticky part of where we are arriving now. And that is that there's not much else to do other than bite the bullet and just spend big gems on straight ore. So we get to level 25. Now... Ah, 3,500 more gems to go to 26. And then the bad news, the really bad news, 7,860 gems to get to level 27. And this is where we drop in our second pitch of the day for creator code Galadon as we hop on over to store.supercell.com and make some purchases over there. Now, I will tell you that there's an insane amount of stuff you can buy over there. And you can also, of course, use creator code Galadon gonna get some good deals you're also going to get some bonuses delivered they have like this full-on point system it's almost like a gold pass within a gold pass within a it's it's passception any, any anyway you'll see if you pop on over there the more stuff you buy the more free stuff you get 
and so on and so forth. But the more important thing for now is that we have enough gems to dump 7,860 gems on one level. So here, here, here it is. There, there it is. A spiky ball, level 27. And we did this because the spiky ball is so broken. No, we did this because the spiky ball makes you win every... No, we did this because... I, it's just that like gem to max in Galadon that forced me to do it. It was a little bit of a compulsion. Maybe it was the football spirit. I don't know. But so here we go. Let's go ahead, hop on out and show just how amazing this barbarian football is. Sorry, spiky ball, spiky ball in Legend League going after this base here. Looks like, you know, one of those death ball. You're never going to remember to get the stuff in the center type bases and we just go with the standard deployment of siege barracks and one root rider on the left siege and one root rider on the right everybody else down the middle and then a little bit of spell timing and placement and we'll see how this does in the meantime let's review the total costs of a level 27 spiky ball in today's episode we spent five bucks roughly we're rounding off by the way so five dollars on the event pass total gems 15,615 at a cost of $111, 20,600 golden boots cost us an additional $70. And that brings the grand total to, uh, carry the one, drop the fourth right here. It's $186 for a level 27 spiky ball. But wait, here we go. We haven't even put it into use yet in this attack that is going to come down to the wire. It's going to be oh so close that, yes, of course, we are going to rely upon that king ability and that spiky ball to get us those final buildings and clutch out the epic three star by the narrowest of margins. And if you believe that, okay, uh, uh, fine, I, I know you don't believe that. So here we go, rolling down to the final moments, going to wait until we just have the core left. Here comes the king ability, that spiky ball blasting into the center, nearly one-shotting the town hall. And uh, everybody waits until the invis wears off, and then they barrel towards the center of the base, finishing off the three-star and uh, yeah, so it's it's fun, it's cool. I would say these are some of the neatest looking effects ever. The Royal Champion's Haste, the Archer Queen's Arrow, the Warden's Fireball, and the Barbarian King's Gauntlet, and now Spiky Ball. Was it worth it? No! But was it fun? Heck yeah, I hope you enjoyed, and thank you for sticking around all the way to the end of the episode, Galifam! Now get out there and make the best of the rest of your day. We went through your to other people. I almost had the planet, and I hope to see all of you back here again tomorrow for more full attacks. You could ask the same about watching your videos. Was it worth it? No!